Hi, I'm Amy and come with me to my first solo backpacking trip to Thailand. The place I pointed to was a hostel that I stayed at last night. But unfortunately, because the beds were super hard, I wasn't able to get much sleep last night. I thought I'd get a head start to my day and go for a walk at 6am. It was only a short walk to Patong Beach, but when I arrived, I saw actual coconuts on trees. Then I was getting hungry, so obviously I had to go to 7-Eleven and try out the famous ham and cheese toastie. After breakfast was accomplished, it was time for my next agenda, which was catch a bolt to the Big Buddha. This is definitely worth visiting if you were ever in Phuket, I highly recommend it. Everything is just so grand and the camera can't really capture it. This was actually also a very special point in my trip because once I arrived, I literally broke down in tears because I literally couldn't believe I was in Thailand. I sat down to do some meditation and decided to head down and I stumbled across this cute cafe. They even had this outdoor toilet which I thought it was so cool because it was overlooking the ocean. And when in Thailand, make sure to get yourself a fresh coconut, it's so good. Oh my gosh, and this was probably the scariest part of my trip. I had to hitchhike off the highway in the middle of the jungle in a one-man quad bike because I saw snakes when I was coming down, so make sure you get a ride. When I finally got back, I said goodbye to Hip Hostel and decided to go to Old Phuket Town to check into this hostel. This place was so comfortable. They had a pool upstairs and also a place to do laundry, which I loved. After a very long day and traumatic ride on the quad bike situation, I went to treat myself and got a aromatherapy oil massage at Kim's Massage in Old Phuket Town. This place was so nice and they even wash your feet and give you a foot scrub before you go in. After my massage, I met up with these guys from the UK who I met from the hostel and headed into Night Market that was running that evening. We ate some delicious but very questionable things that night, um, but this market was super cool because they also sold clothes as well, which I loved. And guys, that sums up my second day.